Hello guys, it's Lee. So today what we're doing is we're gonna put, let's see if we can show it here, this belt, look how big that is. This belt is 144.75 inches and it's a 5 8 belt. So it right there gives you the size of it and we're gonna put it on this. So you can obviously see what problem we had. So that belt was only two years old, so I'm a little confused about why it disintegrated like it did, being only two years old, but the video is gonna be putting this on. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I mean, I mean I've had this more 15 years, so I've done it a few times. But um, anyway, let's All get right, at so it. So I'm laying down on the ground, right here's the mower, back tire, and I'm sitting here at the deck. Here's the belt, old belt. So I'm going to take this off, but I'm also going to review the um, diagram on it because I can't remember. But the main thing is I'm going to get this off, the belt off around the, so the PTOs in the back. I'm going to take that off. But when I put the new one on, right there it is. Um, you know, when I put the new one on, we will look at the diagram and see what needs to happen. Now, eventually, we're going to loosen this spring right here. We're going to take it off that. I'll show you how to do that because that's going to loosen it up to make it easier to put on. First, I'm going to clean that grass out. All right, let me get my blower. Okay, so that's probably good enough. So the grass is cleaned out good enough. What this is is a 54 inch deck. It's a Husqvarna. So the official, and I'll get a close up of it, but it's a Z5426. Now this one I bought brand new in 2008, I think it was, or seven. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the old belt. And then when I start putting in the new one, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But I'll probably first take this belt. First thing you wanna do is go around the PTO and get everything out front because it's gotta go around that PTO I'm going to look for the diagram. I can't remember where it is. Hopefully I can find it. Or it's not covered with dirt. So I can make sure I route it properly. But what the trick's going to be is loosening that spring up so you can get it over all the pulleys and put the spring back because that's a tensioner spring. So let's uh, get in there and look at it. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a tip. Um, I see the diagram right there. I might have to take a picture of it and look at it. But I got the belt around the PTO in the back. So when you got these pulleys like this, okay? It's got a little V to it, right? Well, you know the inside of this belt's going around that. And then when you got these pulleys like this, can you see that one? That's flat. Then that means the back side where the flat part of the belt goes on those. So I'm gonna do it the way I think I ought to do it. And then I'm gonna take a picture. My diagram's right there. Hang on, let me take a picture of it while I got it here. Let's get for my own good. Hang on. All right, so I think I got everything routed. And then when you get to the end, and this is really what you need to see, everything's routed where it ought to be. You can see where that would be. So that's gonna be tight to go on there. I'm gonna loosen, I'm gonna loosen this spring up. So what I got here, I'm gonna try to do it one-handed, probably shouldn't. I'm gonna take this spring puller and take it off. Then I'm gonna loosen up this where it uh, kind of goes over it a little bit so let me work on that i just loosened up this pulley took that spring off now i'm gonna try to work it around this all right so i got the spring off everything's pretty loose Okay, so I got it on there. Everything's in line. So 
uh, for a mower deck because like a year or two after this, this mechanism one, right here came out. This is on the Craftsman that you, that bar swings open and makes the belt real loose. You saw on the mine, real loose. So basically what I had to do is loosen. There's four, you know, one in front, one in back. These um, adjustment bars right here. And I had to adjust them all the way out, like real low to the ground. And now, and it made it loose where I could put it on there and I just didn't get it on film when I did it, but obviously there it is. And uh, so anyway, pretty frustrating for me to have to do all that. It shouldn't take that long to put a deck belt on. So if you got that one, that's a probably a 2007 or 2008 model Husqvarna. That's the worst one I ever did. I, mean, I put deck belts on all the time and they're not that hard. So anyway, but that's how you do it. And remember the tip is when you, um, the V part of the belt goes into the V pulley. Um, if you don't know what the routing is, just Google it from your uh, serial number of your mower first or just look on the deck it should be on there and it shouldn't be this hard you saw how tight that one was and i couldn't and there's no way to get it done um that might have been why this other belt that two years ago but i remember when i put it on there it was so tight i might have cut that one over the pulley putting it in so it lasted two years but they ought to last a lot longer than that because i don't ever use this mower that much i mean i got 10 other mowers in here that cut grass and i'm always buying them so when i use them all the time like i just cut the yard of that um sometime i cut it with that and it's just different the ones. video is getting dark on me almost probably eight o'clock or later and um, I'll finish tomorrow adjusting the deck height. Now is what I got to do, but that's not a big deal. It's just turning a wrench. I'll probably get it up on the concrete and do it. But anyway, so that's it. That is how I put a deck belt on. All right. <laughs>